Hi, this is Dave from Hector's Smokehouse. Um, as I talked previously, I've been doing some testing on the uh, Evergeo by Heston Blumenthal. And uh, today I'm going to try and do a user rotisserie. Um, I've got some chicken um, with a bit of a Greek mix. So it's got olive oil, garlic, lemon, thyme, um, rosemary and oregano. Um, and I'll keep basting it throughout the cook. The grip locks were really, really good. Um, they click really well and hold the chicken in place really well. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And um, what I've done on the barbecue is I've got um, both sides with uh, the heat and in the middle I've got a small drip pan um, to actually take any of the drippings. So I'll load this on onto here. And she goes. And turn it on. Now obviously what I can do is if this is too high I can actually uh, drop this down, can go down one or two levels, so I might actually do that in a bit, but I'll see what it goes like to start with. Um, but all the drippings at the moment are going in the pan which is good and I've got the heat source on both sides. So this is more of a close-up of the um, chicken on the um, Evergeo Fusion. Um, I've tried it at lower heights at number two and uh, number one but that's too near to the coals. I think this is probably the right height at number three. Um, seems to be turning really well, looks very solid uh, with what it's doing. Um, so I'll keep coming back and show you some of the videos as we move along. Probably could have tied up those legs a little bit better and held them in, but we'll see how it goes. But so far it looks pretty good. We are now about 40 minutes in um, and seems to be going pretty well. So I've been quite happy with it so far. Um, so yeah, doesn't seem too bad at the moment. I'll put a bit more marinade on. But um, yeah, so far it seems pretty good. I've been quite happy with it to be honest. I think you'll agree, it doesn't look too bad at all. So we'll come back and have another look in a few uh, 20 minutes or so. We're now just roughly at an hour and chicken's starting to take on a nice bit of colour. Add a couple of little flare-ups, calm them down with some a um, little bit of water and stuff to calm it down, but I think the chicken's actually looking really tasty now. So yeah, we're getting excited and looking forward to tasting it soon. So the chicken looks about done. Um, just turn it around a little bit and start checking the temperature. So we're getting up to 165. So yeah, just about ready to come off I think, which is good. Um, so yeah, so we'll give it another minute or two and it'll be coming off the rotisserie. So, just about to um, take off the um, the chicken off here. Looks pretty good, around about 170 now, 170F, um, around the thighs and um, into that breast meat. So it's looking pretty good from a temperature point of view. Um, learnings from this, um, fire can sometimes sort of uh, get away with you and you can end up with, if you're losing a lot of olive oil, a few and flare-ups. Real easy, some nice water um, in a spray bottle just to calm it down if it actually starts. And also in the pan at the bottom and uh, making sure there's some water in there rather than it just being the olive oil that's dripping in there that catches and that seems to calm it down as well. Um, but apart from that it's gone pretty well. I'm pretty happy. It's taken I think we're just about up to about um, an hour and ten and we're at temperature. This is 1.2 kilos so uh, I think that's going to be around about three pounds. So overall pretty happy with the first cook. Um, I'll see what it tastes like, but um, so far, so good. And um, yeah, if you're going to do rotisserie, this works really, really well.